Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video it was highly requested for me to show you how to record your iPhone screen so let's jump on into it. So I must say you're going to need the most updated version for your MacBook which is currently the OS X and then now you're going to go to your search and click QuickTime Player and then once that's clicked you're going to go to File new movie recording and then you're gonna see a screen that just pops up and shows you currently how you are I just came from the gym I don't feel like showing my face but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you have to do so take your iPhone whichever version you have and then you're gonna get your charger plug out the part that you actually put into the wall and just use the USB part of this you're gonna plug that out and then connect that to your computer and then the appropriate side for your iPhone. And then at this very moment, which is the most crucial part of this video, is you're now going to go to the record button that you see and you're gonna click your name, which says, for example, Kiana's iPhone. So I can't show you exactly how this would look because I am currently recording my screen, but basically your iPhone screen is gonna pop up at this moment. And I basically recorded my iPhone. I was looking at my iPhone recording on the screen as I filmed the video. That's why I was very on track on what I was saying and what I was looking at. But basically what you see here is my video once it is saved. You're just going to click the red button when you're done recording it and then save it onto your desktop. So now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete what I had and just show you exactly what to do. Once you have your video saved which will be on your desktop, you're going to find the area, the portion of your video where you want to put in the clips from your iPhone. So once you adjust where you want your clip to go of your iPhone screen and align that to you describing your apps and all that jazz, you're going to click that transform button. I use Final Cut Pro, so if you guys have iMovie, I'm sorry, I'm just showing how I edit it on Final Cut. So basically you're going to take that transform button and you're going to adjust the size of that screen. Then you're going to go to good old Google and type in iPhone 6. I want it to be super specific so I did gold. And then this is important. Put in PNG which means the background will be invisible. You're going to see all these images of iPhones but the one that you want is the one that I'm clicking here. You're going to see like these gray squares in the background which means it's not going to show up. No harsh white background. Nothing like that's going to show up. So you're going to put in your title and save this to your desktop just for easy access or you can save it to your, your images, your iPhotos. And then as you see I have two of them from my previous video but what you're going to do is just put in your clip of your iPhone. As you can see it's completely invisible background, just the iPhone. And then you're going to move your clip of your iPhone footage on top. Whatever is on top is going to kind of have first priority. So as you guys can see, I just move that on top of the image of where you see the iPhone and then you're adjusting it again with the transform button. And yeah guys, you just adjust the size. You can adjust the size of the actual footage of the iPhone, whatever your heart desires. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope I explained this as best as possible. I am definitely not a pro when it comes to tutorials, but this was so highly requested, so I felt like it was right. I'll see you in my next video, guys.